Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at something called Gay-Lussac's law, and it's comparing temperature and pressure of a gas. And so when we're looking at temperature and pressure, we're assuming that volume and the moles of the gas are held constant. So we're only looking at temperature and pressure. And as you increase the temperature, the molecules move faster, and so they exert more pressure on the walls of the container. So higher temperature, higher pressure. Lower temperature, lower pressure. If we're starting from the combined gas law once again, assuming volume and moles of a gas don't change, we can eliminate volume and moles. And so our expression simplifies to initial pressure over initial temperature equals final pressure over final temperature. And this is Guy Lussac's law. Let's do a practice problem. A gas has a pressure at two atmospheres at 18 degrees Celsius. What is the new pressure when the temperature is 62 degrees Celsius? The volume and moles remain constant. So because volume and moles are constant, we can use Gay-Lussac's law. So pressure one over temperature one equals pressure two over temperature two. And they're asking us, what is the new pressure? So we're trying to get P2 by itself here. So if I multiply both sides of the equation by T2, that eliminates it from that side of the equation. So we've got P2 all by itself here, and it's equal to all of this, T2 times P1 over T1. And our final temperature was 62 Celsius, but we need to convert that to Kelvin. So plus 273. Uh, 273 plus 62 is 335 Kelvin. Temperature one was 18 degrees Celsius. We got to convert that to Kelvin. So 18 plus 273 is going to be 291. And the initial pressure was two atmospheres. So let's plug those values in here. So temperature two is 335 Kelvin. Pressure one was two atmospheres. And temperature one was 291 Kelvin. Kelvin cancels, leaving us just atmospheres. And so 335 times two divided by 291. I get 2.3 atmospheres, which makes sense because they're increasing temperature. So you expect the pressure to also increase. And it looks like we did it right. Let's do one more practice problem. A gas has a pressure of 645 torr at 128 Celsius. What is the temperature in degrees Celsius if the pressure increases to 824 torr? So once again, volume and moles are constant. So we have P1 over T1 equals P2 over V2. Whoops, sorry, over T2, excuse me. So let's write down what we know. The initial pressure is 645. Four. The initial temperature is 128 Celsius. Let's convert that to Kelvin. So 128 plus 273. Get 401 Kelvin. And the final pressure is 824 torr. And the final temperature is what we are looking for. So let's try and get T2 by itself here. It's in the bottom of the equation. We need to get it to the top. So let's multiply both sides by T2. 
to get it out of the bottom. And so now we have T2 times P1 all over T1 equals P2. So now we've got temperature in the numerator, but we need to get it by itself. So we're going to multiply by the inverse of this. So if I multiply both sides by T1 over P1, T1 cancels, P1 cancels. So T2 is all by itself now, and it's equal to P2 times T1 all over P1. Now all we have to do is plug in our numbers and punch it in the calculator. So pressure two was 824. Temperature one was 401 Kelvin. And initial pressure was 645.4. Four will cancel, leaving us just Kelvin, which is good because we're solving for temperature. So if I punch that into the calculator, 824 times 401 divided by 645 gives me 512 Kelvin. But we want to convert that back to Celsius. So minus 273 gives me... 239 degrees Celsius. And looks like we did it right. So once again, to recap, Guy Lussac's law is comparing temperature and pressure. And so pressure one over temperature one equals pressure two over temperature two. And you can derive this from the combined gas law when volume and moles don't change. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.